This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits, and today I'm going to show you how to season in your pit. Um, you want to use a chimney of charcoal uh, to get it started. Uh, I've already got mine lit, and it's uh, about ready to put in. It's putting off a lot of heat. Um, I like using this mesquite lump charcoal, and then I'll end up putting on a, a small piece of mesquite wood. Uh, you could use post oak, red oak, or any type of wood that you use that's in your area available that's good for smoking. Uh, first, you want to oil down your your meat racks with canola oil. This was the Walmart brand. Make sure that it's got no sodium in it. One time I mistakenly bought a can from Weber that uh, that was at the grocery store. And it had sodium in it, and I didn't even look on the back, and I sprayed on a pit. And next thing you know, the whole pit was all rusted inside a couple days later. So make sure you don't get uh, spray with sodium. All right. So then I'm going to open up the lid here to the pit. And make sure to coat it down. You don't need to spray all over the pit. You don't need to spray all over the paint. Just get it on the meat racks the first time. Uh, the reason being is you don't need to get this oil everywhere. Dripping all over the paint on the outside, etc. And it, it is kind of misted, so it will, you know, get all over the place. Um, that'll work just fine right there for the first time. You do want to season your pit several times. And like I said, the first time I just do the meat racks. Um, later on down the road, I'll spray inside the pit. So I kind of let that settle for just a minute there. Open up the stack. And then I can hear that my coals are ready to put in the pit. I've got my stack wide open. I'm going to open up my firebox door. On mine, I've got a, a slide out coal basket. I'm going to keep my phone away from the heat, though. But we're going to go ahead and dump it into the into the basket there. Slide the basket on into the pit. Get ashes everywhere, of course. So that's in there. Um, it'll burn pretty hot. I'm gonna adjust my air intake just like so. Believe it or not, for this pit, that amount of charcoal is actually going to heat the whole thing up 275. Easy. Uh, this one is so efficient with the heat. Um, I'm also going to put a put a chunk on there of mesquite. Just a minute here. I just let those coals settle, and then I'm going to kind of pull them away from the pit a little bit with my ash rake. This is my old one here. You guys can paint yours with high heat paint or whatever. I'm just pretty busy running this business. So there are things I, I have left undone for myself. There we go. I pulled the coals back from the cook chamber just like so. And then I'll put this mesquite log in there. Just, you know, probably right in the middle there would be good. Close it up. That way I can start getting some smoke, you know, to the grates. Before putting that piece of mesquite in there, there wasn't hardly any smoke coming out of that stack with the coals. You can see already, you know, the temp 
getting up to 180 now. Just put the coals in there. Uh, so it's going to climb quickly on this model. It's uh, purposefully designed to not restrict the heat. Anyways, uh, the guys are working on the uh, pits in the shop and hammering down trim and stuff. So uh, that's about it for seasoning in your pit the first time. Uh, the next time is where you want to, if you got an offset smoker like these, put in a little bit more wood. But I wouldn't on the first burn keep the temperature nice and cool as you can. Uh, again, this is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits. And uh, hope to see you soon.